If you were to leave Earth now to travel to the Andromeda Galaxy, you wouldn't just die on the way. The Sun and Earth would no longer exist, and you wouldn't even come close to completing your journey. One might say that in the future, there will be better spaceships that allow us to travel faster. But the fact is that the Andromeda Galaxy, our neighboring galaxy, is so far away that we can hardly imagine it. But we can try. The Andromeda Galaxy is 2.5 million light years away. A light year, however, isn't a measure of time, but rather of distance. One light year corresponds to the distance that light travels in one year, and light is the fastest thing in our existence. One light year is approximately 9.5 quintillion kilometers. If you multiply that by 2.5 million, you get 23 quintillion. That's a 23 followed by 18 zeros. You can't imagine it, just like everyone else. These are numbers beyond our comprehension. It's like trying to count grains of sand in the Sahara Desert. However, if we were to attempt this journey anyway, for example, we could take the fastest man-made object ever created, the Parker Solar Probe, which travels at around 700,000 kilometers per hour. That's so fast it could circle the Earth in under three minutes. To reach the Andromeda Galaxy at this speed, however, it would take us four quintillion years. For comparison, the universe is only 13.8 billion years old, so the journey would take 300 times longer than the existence of our universe. But what if we could travel faster, for example, at the speed of light? This is where it gets interesting. If you were to travel at the speed of light, you would become a time traveler. The faster you travel through space, the slower time passes for you. That means you could theoretically reach the Andromeda Galaxy in just 37 years, while on Earth, 2.5 million years would have passed. Theoretically, a person could travel to the Andromeda Galaxy at the speed of light, but they would never be able to tell anyone about their experience. However, it must be said that this breaks the laws of physics. Nothing with mass can travel at the speed of light. You would need an infinite amount of energy to reach the speed of light. The interesting thing about the speed of light, even though we can't travel at it, is that if you would look at the sky tonight and see the Andromeda galaxy, you're not looking at the present, but 2.5 million years into the past. The light that now reaches your eyes began its journey 2.5 million years ago, at a time when the first human-like beings were just emerging on Earth. So you're not seeing the Andromeda galaxy as it is now, but as it was when our ancestors didn't even know fire. Imagine you could instantly teleport to the Andromeda galaxy without any travel time and then look back at Earth through a telescope. You would see the past. Then you teleported back to Earth and you were instantly back in your present. You would have essentially used a time machine traveling only through space. So the universe isn't just incredibly vast, it's also a gigantic time machine. The farther we look into space, the deeper we delve into the history of the universe. The most distant galaxies we can see with our telescopes show us what the universe looked like over 13 billion years ago, shortly after the Big Bang. The Andromeda Galaxy, by the way, isn't just our neighbor, it's also on a collision course with us. As we sit here, Andromeda is hurtling toward us at about 400,000 kilometers per hour. Sounds fast, doesn't it? But given the vast distances in space, this means the collision won't occur for another 4 to 4.5 billion years. When it does, it will be the most spectacular event our region of the universe has ever seen. In the night sky, Andromeda will grow ever larger until it eventually covers half the sky. The two galaxies won't simply collide head-on, but will instead orbit each other in a kind of cosmic dance, passing through and drifting apart again before finally merging into a single elliptical galaxy after several billion years. Scientists have even given this future galaxy a name, Milkomeda or Milkdromeda, a blend of Milky Way and Andromeda. But here's the crazy part. Although two entire galaxies are colliding, each containing hundreds of billions of stars, it's likely that not a single star will collide with another. The reason? The distances between the stars are simply too enormous. Imagine two grains of sand several kilometers apart. The chance of them meeting is practically zero. It's the same with stars in galaxies. 
For our solar system, however, the collision could still have dramatic consequences. It's possible that we'll be flung out of our current position in the Milky Way, either further into the center of the new galaxy or all the way out to its outer reaches. Perhaps we'll even be catapulted completely out of the new galaxy and drift as a lonely solar system through the void of intergalactic space. But before you start worrying, in four billion years, Earth won't be habitable anyway. By then, our sun will have become so hot that the oceans will evaporate, making life on Earth impossible. So, the collision with Andromeda is the least of our long-term problems. Finally, let's consider just how absurd these numbers really are. When we talk about distances on Earth, we say things like, the nearest country is a three-hour flight from here, or the nearest city is a two-hour drive. We measure distances in time. How long will it take me to get there? This works because our brains are trained to understand such distances. We can imagine what it's like to sit in a car for eight hours. But four quintillion years? 2.5 million light years. These numbers completely defy our imagination. Try this. If you counted one second every day of your life, it would take you about 32 years to reach one billion. To count to one quintillion, you would have to count every day for 32 million years. And we're talking about 23 quintillion kilometers to the Andromeda galaxy. Or to put it another way, if you took one step per second, it would take you about 500 billion years to walk just one light year. To the Andromeda galaxy? Multiply that by 2.5 million. The universe is so vast that our human standards become completely useless. We are beings living on a tiny planet where a journey from one continent to another is already considered far. But out in space? There, we are less than a speck of dust trying to grasp the size of the Sahara. And the crazy thing is, the Andromeda galaxy is our immediate neighbor. It's closer to us than 99.9% .9 of all other galaxies in the universe. If even our neighbor is so impossibly far away, what does that say about the rest of the cosmos? Perhaps it is precisely this inaccessibility that makes the universe so fascinating. We can see the Andromeda galaxy, we can study it, we can dream about it, but we will never visit it. It will forever remain a window into another world, 2.5 million years away in space and time. If you enjoyed this kind of video, I would really appreciate your support. Please leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.